Hot dog, I think we're live. Hello, everybody. It's Nez Lover. And this stream here is to give our good friend Marky Moo a little bit of a break. I cannot see the chat as of yet, but I will catch up. Uh, let me just take my seat here. And if I can sit without disturbing everything, we'll get to our first song. Hello, everybody. I'm going to start out with a song that Peter helped write. I forget the name of the other guy who um, helped write the song, but it's called Take a Giant Step. Though you played at love and lost, and sorrows turn your heart to frost, I will melt your heart again. Remember the feeling as a child when you woke up and morning smiled. It's time you felt like you did then. There's just no percentage in remembering the past. It's time you learn to live again at last. Come with me yesterday behind And take a giant step outside your mind You stare at me in disbelief You say for you there's no relief But I swear I'll prove you wrong Don't sit in your lonely room Just staring back in silent gloom That's not where you belong Come with me, I'll take you where the taste of life is green And every day holds wonders to be seen Come with me, leave yesterday behind And take a giant step outside your mind Take you where the taste of life is green And every day holds wonders to be seen Come with me, leave yesterday behind And take a giant step outside your mind That's right, take a giant step outside your mind Hello everybody, welcome to my live stream Marky Moo, I hope you are enjoying your little break. I'm going to take my tablet here and get to where I can see the chat, if you'll all just give me a moment. And anybody who doesn't know anybody, please introduce yourself. Uh, Jason Nixel, if you are here, God bless you. That's my son. Please say hello to Jason Nixel. And Marky Moo should be here. And they are both my mods. Please show them the proper respect. I've got my cat here trying to scritch me. Hello, everybody. All right. I can see chat. Hello, stoner. Bowstar. Hi, honey. Beast mode the fam. Hello. Stella, oh my god, she's trying to scritch my nails off here. Stop, don't grab mama's fingernails. Stop. <laughs> Always interrupts Marky's stream. I got Stella here trying to interrupt my stream. Oh my goodness. Feedback, feedback. Let me if I move this over here. Stella, you have got to stop trying to hurt your mama. Okay, Gavin Meyer is really my best friend from childhood. Her name is Bobby. So everybody please say hello to her. 
Um, she's new to this thing. Uh, so please uh, say to her. She's this is her first live stream, so it's her first time watching. Hey Jim, how you doing? Ruby Lena's life vlogs. Hello. Ashley, hello. Wisconsin Greg, hello. I might just have to turn off chat. I've got a bunch of feedback like crazy here. What in the world is going on? Yep, I think I'm going to have to move this a little farther away from my phone. Okay, I might just have to look at chat a little bit later. But I trust you all can say hello to one another. And I'm just going to concentrate on doing some painting. Let's get rid of this nasty feedback. Okay. I'm a coming right back. Sorry I can't see everybody chitting and chatting. I'll try and look at it on my phone here. I don't know if I can or not. Okay. Cool. I can see it on my phone. Very good, very good. Just turn down the volume on your device. Well, I turned off my tablet. I'm just going to sit right down and get to get to uh, painting here and let you guys just do what you do. Marky Moo doesn't always pay attention to the chit chat. I will certainly go back and read it, but I wanted to get some painting done. So if you all don't mind, enjoy yourself. I will sing another tune a little bit later, but I can do without the feedback and worrying about all that. So, here we go. I've chosen to do a floral, kind of like what I did for Brother Brad. I don't know if anybody got to, everybody got to see that, but that's a gift for Brother Brad. And he's live right now, too, I believe. That's where he's at. So, I'm just going to go ahead and and do some painting. So yes, in case you haven't heard yet, uh, lost another monkey, Mr. Peter Tork, and that is my best friend Bobby. Again, she's listed as Gavin Meyer, that's her son. Uh, say hi to Bobby. The Peter was always her favorite, so uh, I've always loved the Nez, so I can't help it. I love him. I about had a heart attack myself when he had his triple bypass surgery last year. And uh, my goodness, so. What are you going to do? You know, they're in their 70s. And uh, I got to see. I got to see the monkeys perform without Mike a few years back. And uh, it was it was a good time, but it was the last time that Davey got to tour with them before he passed away. So that was a very special, special concert. And uh, Bobby and I had gotten to see the monkeys together each time. Out, oh, Mike. Oh, that temperamental Mike. Um, but I also understand that Mike had uh, eye problems and things too, so he wasn't really wanting to tour during those years. And I was. Uh, wrongfully angry at my Nez for many years for not wanting to tour with the rest of the boys and misunderstanding. I've apologized to him since then. I've written him and apologized for being upset with him. I didn't know he had all kinds of eye issues and whatnot. Look at me jumping to conclusions like I do sometimes. So, uh, but yeah, I, I wish I could have gotten to see them all together. I've never gotten to see them all together. So I hope everybody's having a good time. I'm sorry I jumped up, up and down and checked the chat while I'm doing this, but I don't really want to be here uh, too long tonight. I just want to see if I can get this done like Marky Moo gets it done. Anybody in blue, please show proper respect and say hello and, and love one another. And if you, like I said, if you don't know someone, Feel free to introduce yourself. I don't know if Mari's here. Mari, are you here? Are you at the taco bar? Where are you at? Stoner, thank you for coming through your portal. 
Jason, I'm glad you made it tonight. I really am. Sorry you couldn't be here, but uh, that's okay. We'll see you again soon. Okay. One, two, three. Two, three. And we're going to go right. So how is everybody today? Uh, I really wanted to give uh, Marky Moo a chance to relax. I was getting pretty bummed out. I don't know about the rest of you, but I've gotten real used to... Uh, being at Marky Moo is about the same time every night, which I'm sure many of you are too. And uh, I was missing it. I really, really was missing it. And I understand wanting a break from YouTube and and all of that. So Moo Moo, don't feel bad. You deserve your break. I'm sure everybody here agrees with me there that you've more than done your time as far as being there consistently and and being there for all of us and and we get to watch you make beautiful things and I hope you're just having some fun wielding your wrench around and and just uh, enjoying watching somebody else paint so I wonder who's here it's kind of fun I can go back later and, and, and see who all was here you know I love y'all thank you very much for for coming by uh, Kelly if you're here thank you if Kelly's in the chat Kelly Moore that's uh, my ex, Kelly. That's the one who was uh, at my birthday live stream. The very same live stream where I was surprised that Mr. David Crosby showed up. And uh, Sherry had been telling people, uh, please say hello to David Crosby. And I saw that part of the chat. And I said something to the effect of that I would, you know, poop my pants if he actually showed up. And sure shooting, there he was. <laughs> So, David, if you made it, God bless you. If not, that's okay. I still love you. But that was a fun time. So, I hope Brother Brad's having a good live stream. And I hope he likes the painting I did for him. I decided to let Brother Brad name the painting I did for him. So, uh, usually the artist names the piece, but just something tells me, let Brad name it. So, I'm sure he'll come up with a way better name, more groovy than I could come up with, so we'll just let him have that fun. So, maybe I should just shut the hell up for a little bit and focus on what I'm doing here. You guys certainly have hung out together long enough. You guys know how to talk to each other and what to say and everything. And uh, So maybe I'll just hush for a few moments and maybe I'll just throw in a comment here and there. And I'm trying not to mess this up by being sidetracked by talking. It's not as easy as it looks, so uh, people, uh, you got to give Marky his props. I mean, uh, to have music going and kids going and dogs barking and to still do this and uh, uh, I gotta gotta say, man, Marky's on top of it. He's a multitasker. I'm 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 not so good at that. <laughs> But when I move and when I get to the new place that I'm moving to, and I'm not, you know, saying where that is right now. If you do know, please keep it under your head. If you don't, you'll find out soon enough. So I think for, you know, safety reasons and personal reasons and people who may be listening, lurking, watching that we aren't very friendly with, or at least aren't very friendly to me, they just don't need to know. It's not on their list of things they need to know right now. So, uh, if anybody is uh, lurking that doesn't really care for me, then uh, you can take it up the road. You don't have to, and you're not going to get any information from me tonight. So, I would suggest you move on. So, but I'm glad you guys are. I'm glad we could give Mr. Marky Moo a little bit of a break. But like I was trying to say, is that when I do help I put my glasses on when I do move and I have the new Nez Studios set up uh, that is when I will you know not go live at the same time that Moo does I want to still be there and mod for him and be there for his live streams and painting but uh, I will set up a time where he can still mod for me if he chooses to and it won't interfere with him and Nez will start doing a painting live 
on a somewhat regular basis. I do not have the energy and wherewithal to do it every night like he does, but um, I think it might be fun to schedule a few nights here and there, maybe a few nights a week or a couple times a month where I hop in the mix and start giving us all another place to go and hang out and 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 watch some painting going on and sing a few tunes and you know I, I felt like I was ready so this is just to test the waters tonight to see how I feel about it all and I gotta say I like it it's pretty fun it's it's a lot to do it's a lot to cover a lot to get used to but I think I'll be okay so uh, I might have to get off my butt and I'm getting kind of curious to look at chat, but I really want to hammer this out because I, I like this floral. I like where this is going, and I can understand when when Marky says once the paint hits the, the canvas or hits the the wood that he uses, you know, everything else just kind of disappears and goes away, and you just get into the painting. So. Don't mind me, I know I'm kind of getting over the lines a little bit, but when I paint this flower in, that won't matter, so. I hope everyone's had a good Friday. Uh, Kelly was nice enough to take me and Diana to the grocery store today. It wasn't too bad. I thought it was going to be a little bit hectic and crazy, but it wasn't. It wasn't bad at all. Diana didn't have any kind of fit or anything. She wanted a Cadbury egg, so I had to get her an Cadbury egg, which of course made a big fat mess when we got home and <laughs> she, she didn't know what it was and I thought I would let her discover that for herself. She uh, bit into it and it was just that goo everywhere, but she loved it, you know. It's not like she didn't like it. She certainly liked it. No, I, I do not have a a stone that has an inch thick of of paint on it for a palette like Mumu does. So I'm just using some newspaper tonight. I hope you guys like the color choices. Brother Brad has really been an inspiration to me lately too. He's with his all his good vibes and trippiness and on the VW bus I've I've actually taken some time to do other paintings, as you've seen from some of my videos. He's, it's it's very quiet, inspirational place to be. And if I haven't done anything all day creatively, and Brother Brad goes live, then I hustle my bustle on over there, and I find I can at least get something cranked out if uh, he stays on live long enough. So. Uh, He's helped me out a lot, too. And, of course, Mumu inspires me every single day. I feel guilty if I'm not painting or drawing or doing something creative in some way every single day. Um, and before I I got to meet and get to know Marky Moo, uh, my painting stuff and my art supplies had dust on them, uh, being with... Uh, who I was with and the situation I was in didn't really afford me a lot of time to paint, let alone uh, anything else. And I missed it, you know, and uh, being in the 40s and, and having a, a child, especially a special needs child, took a lot of energy for me, you know, I mean, I know there's super people out there that can do all kinds of things. I am not one of those people. I was just very... Uh, tired <laughs> from from going through uh, having another child that late in life and uh, don't regret it one bit but uh, you know I'm just I don't have the same amount of energy when I had you punky punky mama was a lot younger when you came along so so mama slowed down a little bit but that's okay that's all right there's no, no harm in that I hope you guys are all having fun this is fun. This really is a lot of fun. I can see why Mumu does this as often as he does. But yes, it does uh, take energy to do this too and focus on who's in chat and and what's going on. I apologize for the feedback. I didn't know all that uh, bull honky was going to go on. I should have known better. Sorry about all that. But that's okay. We got through it. Nobody... 
Nobody seems to be the worse for the wear, I bet. So, but yeah, a quick uh, thank you to to Kelly Moore for getting us to the store today. About everything, so and I had gotten some good coupons in the mail from uh, Kroger's. So some of the things I got for free today too. That was nice. That was very nice. Again, for those of you late coming into the chat, hello, welcome. No, I'm not trying to replace Mumu. I'm trying to just give him a break and and let him enjoy watching me paint instead and maybe singing another song here in a little bit. But I'd really like to get this done. I see it in my head. I just want to get it complete and get it done. He cranks things out so fast. I don't know how you do it, Mumu. Must be all that spinach and artichoke, not artichokes, uh, avocados that he eats that must give him the extra, extra energy. I wonder if both gyms are here. I saw one gym. Is the other gym here? If not, uh, God bless and pray for him. You know, uh, Jim Brentar does not live very far from me where I'm at right now. And I am hoping and praying that before I leave this area, that Mr. Brentar would feel good enough and, and be available and it, the time would uh, present itself where he and I can have a uh, meetup and uh, maybe film a little bit of that. I think that would be lovely. I'd love to meet Mr. Jim Brentar. He's such a talented artist and musician. And I wonder if Catfish is here. Did Catfish show up? Did Miss Sherry Sherry show up? Sherry Sherry said she was going to be busy tonight and didn't, uh, wasn't sure if she was going to be able to make it. That's okay. You know, we love Sherry no matter what. It's all right. Her and her water. So i got to move some things around here and do what I need to do. But, yeah, it's, it's so nice to get a chance to do this for Mumu. And a nice uh, thing to do, uh, just thinking of Mr. Peter Tork while I'm doing this, too. Again, Peter's uh, was always Bobby's favorite and always will be. Uh, <laughs> there was an idea we had for a T-shirt. Remember this, Bobby? Years ago, about a T-shirt I wanted to make for you that had a picture of Peter on it. And on the back, have it say, I'm happy as long as I get my Peter. <laughs> Maybe it's time to make that shirt now. What do you think about that? <laughs> I like it, you know. I think it's a, a good idea. I'd wear one. So. Oh, goodness. The times Bobby got to go see Mickey Dolan's perform in concert without me. Or go see the monkeys without me. How many times, Bobby? How many times? And how? How, you might ask, did fate pay her back? Did the good Lord pay her back for her blasphemy of, of daring to go see uh, the monkeys or Mr. Dolan's without me? Without me. And I would warn her each time. I would say, well, you know, one of these times, one of these days, something's going to happen. And uh, you uh, are going to regret going to see him without me or see them without me. Well, one year, we were going to go camping in Canada. And I was driving from uh, Ohio to Michigan, where she lives, and uh, got to her place. And she had just seen Mickey Dolan's Peter Noon of Herman's Hermits and I believe Bobby Sherman. The three of them were in concert. Uh, she's not so much a big of a fan of, of the other two, but of course any excuse to go see a monkey, especially Mickey, you know, my second favorite. Um, you know, she did it again. She did it to me again. Well, that particular time, and I think this was in 2000, I went to see her. It was like the night before we were getting ready to leave for our camping trip to Canada. And uh, she'd just gone to see the show, and she had a terrible migraine. Remember that, Bobby? You had a horrible, horrible headache that night. And so uh, you had just been saying, too, that you enjoyed the show and all of that. And uh, and I went to go get some uh, headache medicine for her. She didn't have any Tylenol or, or ibuprofen or anything like that. So I went to the grocery store, 
uh, right down the road and uh, I was paying for whatever the hell I was getting and the cashier says you know we're all hanging out at the bowling alley here in town and I'm like yeah no kidding so uh, before I go home to my suffering friend who went to go see uh, a monkey again without me I thought oh what the hell I'm gonna go stop by that bowling alley which wasn't very far away it's not like I you know screwed her out of getting her medicine you know and went you know 20 miles out of the way it was just down the road and so I, I pop in and I do walk through and I head to the bathroom and as I look, I see Mr. Peter Noon of Herman's Hermits, old Henry VIII himself himself, sitting with his hermits and, and groupies at a big table. He looked really, really high. His eyes were really, really bloodshot. He was smiling as big as can be and had a big-ass pizza in front of him. And uh, I said to him, well, hey, Peter, how you doing? And he looked at me and smiled. You know, He had no idea who I was. Uh, I had my monkey's lunchbox with me at the time, and I was using it like a purse. And uh, so I, he waved me over, and I talked to him for a few minutes. And he said, you know, I explained, you know, I was a, you know, a big fan of the monkeys and his too. I, you know, of course I like Bobby Sherman too, but nothing like you know the monkeys. And and uh, he said, well, you know, Mickey's right over there. And I look, and there he was at the bar of the bowling alley there and restaurant divey bar that Bobby and I used to go to quite a bit and watch karaoke and stuff, really bad karaoke. <laughs> and, uh, and he's like, well, he's right over there. And I'm, you know, a bit shy at the time, you know? And I said, Oh no, I, I couldn't go over there. No, no. And he's like, Oh, go on, go on over there. And I had my hands behind my back holding my lunchbox. He says it again. He's like, well, you know, he'd love to meet his, he likes to meet his fans and, you know, one over. He's, you know, it's okay. And so I show him the lunchbox and he looks at that and then he looks at me and he goes, oh, big fan, huh? And I just kind of nodded my head and said, yeah, big fan. So he smiled at me and just thought it was just the cutest thing. And uh, he arranged to have one of his hermits take me over to Mickey and introduce me so I wouldn't feel totally uh, you know awkward and I got to meet Mickey Dolans and uh, he was very very nice he pronounced my name correctly on the first time which most people fail to do and uh, I spoke with him for maybe about you know maybe uh, 10 minutes he didn't just blow me off and I explained to him that my best friend Bobby was at home, that she was just as big of a monkeys fan as me, and that she would absolutely murder me if I did not get a chance to bring her by. I asked his permission if it was okay if I came back in a few minutes so we could get a picture, autograph, or, or whatnot. And he was very gracious, and of course he agreed, and he said, yeah, sure, that's fine. So I thank him, and I... I leave post haste. Don't want to keep the man waiting any longer, and uh, I maintain my decorum amazingly by the grace. Of God. While I was in there, I didn't all gush all over him when I was in there. But as soon as I got in my car in the parking lot, I proceeded to have like a Holy Ghost fit, you know, woohoo! And I was just as pleased as punch. And so I went back to Bobby's apartment, and I went in, and I had a deadpan face. And I looked at her, and I said, I met Mickey Dolan's! And she went, what? I went, what? And we kind of did this little little happy dance like we were on a game show, winning a big prize, you know. And so she's scrambling all over, looking for something to grab for him to autograph. I already had my lunchbox, so I was good to go. So, uh, and you know, she kind of forgot about her headache there for a while, thank God. But uh, we made our way over to the bowling alley. And we got to meet Mr. Mickey Dolans. I got the distinct pleasure of introducing my best friend, Bobby, to Mr. Mickey Dolans. And uh, that was her little uh, payback for going off to see him in concert. How many times, Bobby? How many? Hmm? How many? So uh, there you go. So that's that little story there. I have still have the photograph of her and I with Mr. Mickey Dolans. And I don't have the original lunchbox that he signed. That one got stolen, but I did replace 
said lunchbox, and I still have that today. So, a little story for y'all. I'm sure Bobby's telling y'all kinds of crazy things. Letter, that's okay. <laughs> but I took a great deal of personal satisfaction that evening of, oh yeah, go off and see him how many times, and yeah, there you go. So, I got to introduce her to Mickey, so that was cool. So you never know. Uh, my mother used to say, never forget to put on your lipstick because you never ho know who you're going to meet. And I don't wear makeup as a rule, really. But, uh, well, she was right that night. You know, I had no idea I was going to meet who I met that night. My goodness. Good times, good times. Mom or something. So please pardon me about that. Again. A grand old time going back and reading the chat. I know you guys all well enough to know who's usually shows up anyway. I think her here. If there's new people here, that's besides Bobby. Then for coming. I think I'm I'm liking this Marky Moo. I th once I figure out how to not have feedback then and still be able to see chat and everything I just uh, I didn't have much time tonight it took me a while to get Diane to sleep and uh, she went to sleep pretty good that and and then once I get to where I'm going and have Nez Studios uh, reestablished then I'll make sure I have all my ducks in a row and I'll be able to do what he does and and look at chat while that's all I'm missing right now but uh, I'm kind of liking just doing this too. It's nice to not have to type. People left out and everybody likes to be acknowledged. And when I go to a live stream, I don't like being ignored or, or you know, not said hi to or whatever. And sometimes it's not easy to say hi to everybody when, you, when you're in a busier live stream. If Breaking the Shell is here, thank you, Tim, for coming by. Shell, yeah. But, uh, yeah, please, please check each other's channels out. Uh, um, tonight, by the way, speaking of checking other people out, uh, What the Paranormal, uh, Amy, her daughter, Lane, April, who's Entity Paranormal Investigators, uh, they, uh, Amy and Lane started a GoFundMe for Diana and I to uh, raise some money to for moving expenses and getting the heck out of here and away from here as soon as possible. And I'm going to, if you want to pop over to uh, What the Paranormal and see how they're doing. They're camping out for me tonight. They've had a promotional video going talking about them camping out for me at Goatman's, uh, wherever they are in Texas there. It's very haunty. Haunty. It's very, it's very haunty there. <laughs> very spooky, very haunty, very creepy. And I'm afraid those ladies, uh, you know, I don't like them putting themselves in danger uh, for any reason, let alone for little old me. So say a little prayer for them. Uh, if they are alive, please and, and, and show some support. And uh, they have my links. Uh, they have my uh, PayPal link and they have uh, the GoFundMe link. So if you can't donate, that's okay. Uh, prayers are always welcome. Uh, sharing links is is wonderful. That helps a lot. Uh, and uh, just just show those. Uh, you know, thank them for their for even taking the time to do that. So I really appreciate them. I love them. They're they're great lady. Especially elves in harm's way. For my benefit and for them in the back, it might not be. Please. They're a little bit mad. I didn't get to get any cat food today, but I have plenty of things for them to eat, so nobody's going to starve on my watch. So it was all I could do to get uh, what I could get today at the store. 
And I, cat food was the one thing I couldn't squeak out. Cat litter I got. Yep, we're, we're good on cat litter. But I used the rest of their food today. And I think, you know, Kelly might have a little bit of cat food uh, I can give to the kitties. But I've got all kinds of things for the kitties to eat. I've got salmon and uh, lunch meat and milk and stuff. So they're not going to starve. They'll be all right. There's just a little bit of kitty drama going on back there. But once again, anybody who doesn't know uh, Gavin Meyer, that is Bobby, my best friend from childhood. I haven't said hello to her yet. Please do. Excuse me. This is her first uh, live stream experience, so please make her feel welcome. Stoner, how you doing? You still lingering and, excuse me, lurking back there? Step through your portal and come say hello. Did Mari put his tacos down and and come by to say hello? Who else we got there? I really want to get up and look at the chat right now, but I'm almost done with this. I'll have a look here in a minute when I get this done. Moo Moo, it's coming along pretty good. It's 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 happening. I was organized and had this drawn out before we started, like Moo Moo tends to do. Funeral host, if you're here, hello. There we go. That's looking a little more like what I'm wanting. Very, very cool. So, hope you like what I'm working on. Maybe I'll keep this one, because it's kind of like a little companion one to what I made Brother Brad. And uh, as much as I want to keep the one I made for Brother Brad, that's a gift for him to go on his VW bus. But uh, I think this will be a nice little keepsake to remember uh, that painting by, too. It's, it's real similar. But like I said, if somebody's, you know, interested or wants something like this, you know, uh, I do work by commission. So, and this little artist here wants to... Not just get donations, but I'd like to work for the monetary help I receive at this time to accomplish the move that needs to be made. I want to be as far away from Ohio craziness as I can possibly, but since I can't afford to move, you know, to a, a whole other part of the world, I'll settle for another county at the very least. And, uh,. <laughs> At least not in this county. So, uh, just want a new new town uh, somewhere that's not here where uh, there are many uh, temptations for many uh, people who don't particularly care for me to uh, make any kind of trouble for me or for Diana. So, that being said... Looking forward to the move. Lots of things are going good. Anybody who's curious, uh, I've talked to several organizations and uh, charitable uh, groups that uh, help people who are low income and uh, who have special needs children. So all the arrangements uh, being made are going along very well. And uh, I'm waiting a little more paperwork in the mail and hopefully the apartment that I want above all the rest will be the one that comes available here sooner than later so that would be ideal and all you prayer warriors out there keep praying for that Ooh, we're just we're getting there we're getting there we're getting there let me touch up the greenery here, I don't think I'm going to turn that that uh, tablet back on. I don't want to deal with feedback, but that's okay. Uh, I'm just going to acapella one more song here before I wrap it up for the evening. Again, I apologize for the feedback. That was craziness. I did not anticipate that. Please forgive me, but... Lesson learned, you know, lesson learned. So what else is happening? How is everybody? Thank you all who've taken the time to stop by. 
thanks to your phone. Don't knock everything all over. Let me go where I can see the chat. Hi, Benny Loco. Hi, Aunt Jane. Jim, yay, you made it. Hooray. Hot diggity dog. Oh, Jim, I'm so happy you made it here. Oh, my buffering again. Well, I'm so sorry. Oh. Is it buffering for everybody? Um, I'm not seeing any buffering going on here in my... Oh, Becky loves Japan. Hi, Becky. Nice to see you. Everybody, everybody is buffering? Oh, I hope not. Well, then maybe I will just forego trying to sing because it is a B-I-T-C-H. Oh, Jim Adams. Jim, can you hear it? I would love to sing one more song, but I don't want it to be buff. Kingdom come. Hey, Greg. How you doing? Uh, Greg. <laughs> Hi, Greg. Greg, whatever the hell you probably pronounce. Nice to see you. It looks like Greg to me. Moo Moo, how's it going? Are you buffering? Am I buffering where you're at, Marky Moo? Jason, how am I doing? Are you getting buffering? Yes, Becky. Uh, Bobby, Becky loves Japan, uh, is a Monkees fan, too. And uh, Becky, I uh, wanted to tell you my best friend, Bobby, uh, Peter was her favorite. So, yeah, we've we've had that conversation, and it's, it's real sad. If it's on and off buffering, I'm not going to do another song tonight, because that just sucks, knowing that I'm trying to sing, and, and people are trying to listen, and... It's just, yeah, we'll, we'll do another song another time. I'm just happy I got some painting done. I'm happy that uh, I got to give Mumu a break. Um, Jim, we'll, we'll sing another song another time. And hey, Harry the Hammer, hey, nice to see you too. That is so cool. I love seeing all you people here. Oh, Greg, don't worry. Greg, am I saying your name right? Is it Greg that just looks weird and how I'm not used to saying Greg? Or is it actually Greg? You're going to have to tell me how to say your name, sir. I, I'm tired of mispronouncing it. Forgive my ignorance. Um, I'm scrolling up to see who else is here. I just couldn't. Um, yes, Mumu, I, I enjoy working by commission, too, and, and all of that. Um I've I've gotten paid to do other pieces before, and it feels like, <laughs> Mike, <laughs> Mike, Mumu, you feel like you're on vacation? That's cool. Awesome, awesome. Hey, Kelly Moore is here. Hey, Kelly. Jim, I hope you heard what I said earlier, Jim Brentar. I'd love to meet you before I move away from uh, this particular part of the world. Oh. Aunt Jane. Is Tommy here too? I saw Tommy was live earlier. Is anybody going live or yes, Mumu, I have it on portrait mode, but I had to place this phone precariously to get it to be in the position for it to see what it's seeing. It was not cooperating the other way. I know. Excuses, excuses, please forgive me. That's okay. Make fun of me. That's all right. Mark Fun Jones, please meet. Bobby, my best friend from childhood. Bobby, please meet Mark. Funnel Cake Jones. He used to go by Funnel Cake Jones. I prefer Funnel Cake. So, K-Dog, awesome. I didn't know you came here. That's cool, cool. I'm trying trying to scroll up and, and see all who showed up. And like I said, I will be going through all of this and looking and, and all of that. I hope you enjoyed watching me do this. My God, I've been going on for 40, 45 minutes. Good Lord. I'm going to be quiet down. I want to wake up Diana. Craziness. I'm sorry again about the buffering. Elsewhere. Hey, hi, Nana Pam. Hi. Bobby uh, has her uh, son's account. Gavin Meyer is my best friend, Bobby. So, uh, Bobby, please announce yourself and say hello to some very fine people who I, most of these I see every day or get to hang with just about every day in this uh, chat here, that chat there. Oh, I'm just so pleased that people showed up and are having a good time and, 
and all that. I'm sorry about the feedback earlier. Uh, Nana, I'm glad you came and caught me live, too. I will be doing this again at some time. Eagle Eye, woo -hoo! I'm glad you came, Eagle Eye. Thank you so much. I'm glad you got your wrench. I had problems with it before, and I'm sorry about that. But they're straightened out now. Yeah, we'll, we'll save a singing, you know, more stuff for another time. At least I got to squeeze out one song this evening before things went wonky. So, but, uh, yeah, maybe next week or something I can do this again and it won't be so, uh, so, uh, problematic. Does that sound good? Remember, what does, what do we always say? We say love one another. And, uh, Brother Brad says be thankful for every day. And, uh, and it's so nice to see all of you. Thank you. Yes, Aunt Jane, I'm sorry you missed the song. I did sing something at first, but then, uh, I think the, it's Friday, you know, and monkey on a Friday, lots of buffering, a lot of people online right now. We'll do it again another time. And just, oh, sorry about that, Eagle Eye. I'm very sorry about that. Um. Why was Brad depressed tonight? What's wrong? Eagle Eye, is he okay? Is he okay? Is, did he leave his live stream feeling depressed? Aww. Hey, Jason Punky. John the man cat is good, but he's a little bit PO'd at Mama because I forgot to get cat food. I could not make what I had left budgeted for the month stretch out to get cat food. Uh, they ate the rest of that this morning, but they have all kinds of stuff to eat. Mama's going to give them some salmon, and uh, yeah, so don't feel too bad. Uh, John was in some hell a couple nights ago. He was all puffed up. He was like three times the size he normally is, and I had to sequester him into the bathroom so he would leave Stella alone. Stella and he got into it with kitty drama. So, oh, he was supposed to go out with Megan from work, but no one wanted him to go. Okay. Well, I hope he feels bad. Moo Moo, you're going to be okay, Marky Moo. We're gonna, you text me whenever. You can call me if you need to. You know you can. Late is fine. Um, whatever you need, I'm here. Just just know that. Uh, no problem. Uh, thank you, everybody, for showing up once again. I'm glad I at least got to finish a painting in front of all of you. That's uh, and cross that off my list now of uh, things I've done. So hope to have more music for you next time. Uh, maybe next time we won't have any buffering and we won't have feedback and and all of that. Moo Moo, you're gonna get through this. You're gonna be just fine. Okay, you're gonna be okay. Don't let the drama that comes with YouTube and just people in general get you down. You know, there's going to be jackasses and, and uh, dumbass people no matter where you go. And uh, just, just don't let them get you down. We all love you, Marky Moo. And I'm glad I could step up tonight and do a painting for everybody and give us a place to hang out for a few and, and watch a little painting being done. Well, I'm going to hop off of here. Thank you once again. I will certainly, certainly do this again here real soon and work it out with Moo Moo so I'm not stepping on his toes. I'd much rather be in his live stream watching him. <laughs> Chocolate Mint, you know, I was just thinking of you earlier, and I'm sorry I didn't list you in my shout-outs earlier to get people to come here tonight. Chocolate Mint, you're one of my favorite ice creams in the whole wide world. Thank you. Beneloco, thank you. I'm I'm sorry I didn't list you either. There's just so many of you. It's hard to remember everyone uh, to list you. But I'll do better next time, I promise. I'll have everybody listed that I can think of. Uh, yes, dear. Yes, Moo Moo. Next time I will try my best to get this camera in the right way so you won't chew me out. So, uh, hey, I can't wait to get uh, Tim's uh, jerky sample, too. Uh, I'm kind of judging between uh, Moo Moo's uh, homemade jerky and uh, and uh, Tim breaking the shells homemade jerky. So I'm looking forward to that. I love you all. Oh, Aunt Jane, I wish I had some of that right now. I've got frozen coffee that I made earlier, too. So I'm going to chow down some of that. Hey, the art of Reed. I've 
happy you made it. Thank you very much for stopping by. Um, I'll drop Brad a little message tonight to maybe leave him a comment or something and and say something to him. Yeah, Ben Loco, Mumu's homemade jerky was yum num, and I cannot wait to taste uh, Tim's jerky too. I'm sure it's wonderful. Well, I'm gonna run. I love you. Sorry about all the feedback. Sorry about the buffering and whatnot. But we will do this again here soon. I'll work it out with Mumu so I can uh, not take up his time. And he can still be here for me if he chooses to. So, hey, Nico. Hey, thank you for coming by. Thank you. I'm sorry uh, I didn't get to sing for you tonight. I sang right away. And then things got wonky with uh, buffering and, and whatnot. So we'll do it again another time. Uh, thank you so much. You guys have a great weekend. Stoner, thank you for coming through your portal. I wish I had some pudding, man. I wish you could make me some butterscotch pudding and shove it through the portal. You have a beautiful night, too. Love you, Punky. I will check up on Marky Plier here real soon. Oh, D Mumo, you think Tim realizes he's already lost. Well, if he's going sweet instead of the direction you went in, then uh, I kind of think you've already won too, Moo Moo, but we'll give Tim the benefit of the doubt. I'm sure his stuff is wonderful. So later to you all. Love you all. And uh, I cannot wait. Yeah, you do need a pudding, Pearls. <laughs> hey, Mitzi, thank you for coming by. I haven't seen you in 100 years. Thank you for coming Jim will sing for you again real soon. Uh, those of you waiting for my uh, collaboration with my accompanist, Mr. Jeffrey Feinstein, uh, he's working on the final uh, version. He wants me to wait. And when his final version he satisfies with is ready, then I will record with that and we'll get that uh, song up for everyone here real soon. It's the Lou Rawls version of The Shadow of Your Smile done a la Jeffrey and myself. So it's coming along quite well. All right, I'm going to shut the hell up. I love you. Thank you for all for being here. Thank you to my mods. Thank you to my son. Thanks to my best friend, Bobby. Thank you to Moo Moo, one of my most BFFs ever. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all for coming. Thank you, Kelly, for getting us to the grocery store today. Oh, my God. I got to feed the cats before they all start, you know, having some kind of kitty revolution. So I love you. We'll do this again real soon. Thank you. Thank you so much. Love one another. We'll see each other again real soon in another live stream. Hats off to you, Mumu, for doing what you do. Oh, thank you, Benilo. Thank you. I'll post a picture of this and feature it in an art show. I love y'all. Thank you.